Hello, this is a quick walkthrough for PS6. Uh, when we finished PS4, we had sort of a working application, uh, a Java, FF, Java FX application that showed names and addresses. But those names and addresses were sort of hard-coded. They were uh, static in the application. In the constructor in the main program, we, were, we set a whole bunch of names in an observable list. So we were sort of self-contained with that. This one is going to hook that PS4 to Oracle with a proper DAL layer, data access layer. So what to do first, I created a good starter project um, in Eclipse and uh, posted it to GitHub. I just created a new workspace in Eclipse I'm cleaning up so I can get ready to start this. If you go out to uh, GitHub, I created a, a GitHub called PS6 Starter. I'm going to copy this, go into Git, and clone it. Be helpful if I imported the projects. Oh, where do that? Okay, go back over to Java. You have two projects: PS6 Doll and PS6 Java FX. PS6 Java FX depends on P PS6 Doll, and from now on, I'm going to call it Doll and Java FX, just so. I'll have to say it over and over again. I do have uh, a project reference to PS6 doll. That came over fine. The libraries I have are, are fine. Everything should be ready to go. I, I posted them clean, so we're going to have to do a, a, a clean install, like an initial um, compile. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do clean install. I'm going to watch my console messages. Build failure. I get this all the time. No compiler provided with this environment. Every time I switch workspaces, it sets me back. It sets my JRE back. Uh, environment. Environment. I'm going to pick. Go to JRE. Say so set to a JRE. I should figure out how to do that. But anyway, remove this. Add. Go to uh, program files. It's under this PC. Under C. Under program files under Java. Uh, this is getting annoying because this, this happens like every stinking time I change workspaces, but that's cool. Set it. Okay. Clear my messages. Again, uh, run as. May even build, clean, install. Get rid of this. It's doing its thing. Build success. Okay, so that is built. I say run. Now this is JavaFX, so I have to say JFX jar. Run. I expect this is going to pull down a, a plugin or two. Build success. I'm ready to start. This ain't done yet. This is just like getting started. So let's look at uh, PS6 doll. I gave you a couple of classes out here. This is a hibernate project. Uh, first things first. Forget about the test for a second. We're going to start with the, the hibernate. Make sure the hibernate is the settings are what they should be. So I'm looking at my local version of Oracle. Obviously, I want you to connect to my Amazon version of Oracle, so you'll have to change some settings here. The schema, the username, the password. Figure, double-check this, this setup right here. You're going to have to change that for sure. In the mapping, I gave you a student uh, table or student setup. We're not using anything with student. I just wanted to show you how to do it. So if I look, I've got a student domain model, and that should, should be properly done. Or I've got a couple attributes, setters and getters. I've got a student mapping file that maps the student table, stu table, excuse me, to the student domain model. This works in concert with this. That's done already. Again, we're not using that. I just gave you a template so you can do for the uh, work it for the person uh, table. Um, I've got Hibernate Util, which creates your uh, factory class. I've got a date adapter, which is cool. So in other words, this isn't going to change. That's not going to change. Uh, what's going to change is the person domain model. I gave you that. You're going to have to build the person DAL. I gave you a student DAL. If you look at the student DAL, I've got a add student method. I've got a get students method. I've got a get student method. I've got a delete student method. I've got an update student method. There are no methods in person DAL. They're methods, but they're stubbed out. In other words, I just 
gave you the signatures without without the implementation. So you're going to have to take a look at this to see how you're going to uh, format this. So create your person DAL first. Your person domain model should be done. Don't mess around with anything you told they're done. Mapping, you're going to create a student.hpm.xml mapping file. You're going to add the mapping file to Hibernate. After all that's done, you should be able to build your doll. In other words, right click, run as, clean install. After that's done, you probably want to do some unit testing. Make sure that I can, I didn't give you anything here, I just gave you an assert true of one of one. But you should probably do a person test to make sure you can add a person, to make sure you can update a person that's been added, to make sure you can delete a person. Good unit tests. So you know that after you're done the doll, it works. I can insert records, I can delete records, I can update records, I can list records. So if there's any errors, it's got to be happening from your presentation side, but not your doll side. So finish the doll first. It should take you an hour, because I gave you exactly what a working one looks like. All right, let's go to the JavaFX. If I go to JavaFX, now first, first things first, I missed something over here. It's a Maven project, and I've got... Um, it's a Maven project, and there's some, there's some directories that it's expecting to see. It's expecting to see a resources directory. It's expecting to see a test directory. I gave you an empty directory, an empty package, just so it, it um, makes uh, the, the GitHub post happy. Sometimes if you post an empty directory, GitHub doesn't post anything. So I gave you sort of a starter directory to start these guys out. All right, if we go back to... Uh, this setup. This looks really like PS4, except for I've done some changes for you that you're going to have to finish. Map, uh, main app. In main app, in the constructor, you had here in PS4, you had a whole list of um, static usernames that you had to add to your main app. There's like six or seven names. You got to get rid of this because now instead of reading from static var variables, I got to have to use the get persons method. Remember, get persons from the doll, where we're going to be reading from the Oracle tables and actually getting people. You're going to have to figure that. You're going to have to call that. I've already got the the imports ready for you. You just have to finish doll. If you finish doll, this should work. Then it says for every person that's in that get persons, add that person data to uh, person data, which is an observable list. This is already. This has been in there. This is what we had PS4 wired to was an observable list. So I think if you finish DAO, this should work. In the in the application itself, under person edit controller, where we had add person, where we had update person, we're going to have to look and make sure that we we're calling the, the proper functions. And of course, I'm looking for it now. Let's see. If I look for handle new person, handle new person. In the old days, it was just adding a record to that uh, observable list. Now I have to call the add person method. To handle edit person, I've got to handle the edit person method. There's a delete function here somewhere, delete person. And of course I can't find it, but there, if there's a delete person, you've got to call the delete method. That's all it is. So when I, when I create a new person, I've got to call the new method. When I'm showing the existing people, I've got to call the get persons method. When I edit somebody, I've got to call the update method. And what I would do is, to make sure that <coughs> things are working correctly, I would probably run it in debug. In other words, uh, let's show you what I mean by running in debug, and then we'll finish this up. If I go to main app, main app I know in the constructor, in main app it's going to run this bit of code, because this is the constructor for that class. So as soon as this constructor runs, it's going to try to run this array list of get person. So I'm going to put a stop right here, toggle breakpoint, and I'm going to run it in debug, and I'm going to run it as a Java application. As soon as I run it in debug, it'll ask me to, should I switch over to the debug perspective? And I think, I hope, there we go. And I'm going to say yes. Sure enough, it stopped right on my breakpoint. Person get persons. I'm going to step once. Now, remember, I didn't give you the code. This is part of PS6. you got to write this code. You copy this from what I did in, in uh, student. But right here, I'm creating a person domain model. I should be returning back a, uh, an array list of person domain model. 
Right now I'm returning back null. So if I continue with this application, if I continue, I'm going to get a failure that says exception main constructor, and it's probably going to give me a problem because um, there's there's nothing in that <laughs> there's nothing in that list to show, right? That observable list is null. Yeah, it, application instance class blah blah blah, blah if, is null. So if I had that that get persons method fleshed out, it would work. Excellent. So this is the starter from PS6. Again, what you're going to have to do is finish the doll. Make sure you have your HBM correct. Make sure you have your mapping file correct. Make sure you have unit test cases. And I'm going to see a unit test case for an add, for an update, for delete, for get. Not for get, but for get. There you go. And then in JavaFX, make sure that those add, delete, get persons, and delete and so forth are wired up. So when I click the button in the UI, it's going to execute the correct function and do the correct action in the DOM. Great. Thanks a lot. Good luck.